got you in my sight I keep all the words you said to me I get you, get you, get you, get you on your knees Rewrite all the things you said that I should be I'll get you, get you, get you now you beg me please Hey Now I'll stay away You were never meant to save me Say you're sorry A 62-year-old man was killed in a high-speed crash on the German Autobahn on Monday. The driver, who has not been named, was traveling at an estimated 300 kilometers per hour when he crashed into the rear tire of a truck and then into a roadside pole. The crash occurred on the A8 A1 Autobahn near the city of Stuttgart. The driver was driving a Audi RS6 sports car, which is capable of reaching speeds of over 300 kilometers. The impact of the crash was so severe that the Audi RS6 was completely destroyed. Police are still investigating the cause of the crash, but they say that speed was likely a factor. The Autobahn has no general speed limit, but drivers are still required to drive safely and within their limits. Two Ferrari supercars were involved in a serious accident in Italy on March 4, 2023. The drivers of the two vehicles lost control and crashed into a wall, causing one of the cars to catch fire. The accident occurred around noon in Osimo, a town in the province of Ancona, Italy. The reason for the collision is still under investigation. According to local police, the accident may have been caused by excessive speed, which you can also see on the security cameras. In the video, you can see the red Ferrari going off the road at a bend first, followed closely by the blue one, which flew into the air before colliding against the fence of a house and catching fire. Pieces of both cars were seen flying as the crash unfolded, while the driver of the first Ferrari was seen alighting the red supercar after the impact. According to the report, witnesses immediately alerted emergency services, and paramedics arrived at the scene to rescue the two drivers. The two injured drivers were transported to the Doric Hospital in Tourette. Their conditions were reported to be not serious.
In a recent incident, a substantial boulder dislodged from a freight truck, striking a BMW vehicle. The force of the impact was significant. The 38-year-old female driver of the BMW tragically lost her life at the scene. Following this initial collision, a Toyota traveling behind the BMW swerved sharply, attempting to avoid the hazardous situation. This resulted in a loss of control, causing the vehicle to overturn. Miraculously, the 52-year-old male driver of the Toyota emerged from the ordeal with his life intact. Authorities are actively investigating the circumstances surrounding the incident, focusing on how the boulder became dislodged from the freight truck. Traffic in the area has been temporarily affected as efforts to clear the scene and conduct investigations are underway. Last week, a distressing incident occurred involving two 13-year-old boys who unlawfully took possession of a hatchback car. Their reckless behavior led to a high-speed collision with a parked vehicle, which subsequently came into contact with a stationary truck dumper. Regrettably, a 40-year-old woman, who was patiently waiting for her husband in the parked car, lost her life in the accident. The impact of the collision was severe, resulting in the complete destruction of the vehicle. Remarkably, the young car thieves managed to survive and, following the accident, fled the scene. Authorities are actively working to locate and apprehend them, holding them accountable for their actions. At least 21 people died, and more than a dozen others were injured on Tuesday night when a coach smashed through the guardrail of an overpass near Venice and plunged 15 meters to the ground, bursting into flames. The mayor of Venice described the scene of the crash as apocalyptic. The accident happened on a stretch of road between the towns of Mestre and Marghera, which lie across the lagoon from Venice on the mainland. The electric bus, which had been rented by a group of tourists, was returning from Venice's historic center to a camping site when the accident occurred at about 7.30 p.m. local time. 
At least two children were believed to be among the victims, and 18 people were reported to have survived the crash. The victims reportedly included five Ukrainians, a German and the driver of the vehicle, an Italian. It was not known why the bus veered off the overpass and smashed through the safety barrier.